basketball hoop was made 132 years ago and this one is from the future. And in today's video we are checking out the evolution of basketball hoops. Starting all the way back in 1891. This is an exact replica of the first basketball hoop ever created. To fit the theme, I have a replica of the first ball ever created as well. Pretty epic stuff. So, a cool fact about this hoop is the rim they use is actually an old peach basket. I don't know why they got that idea, but they just found like a peach circly basket thing and made it the rim, I guess. It's pretty fascinating st stuff, you know what I mean? Something cool that not many people know about is if you look inside the rim, there is like a bottom, which means the ball didn't go through the rim fully. When they made a basket, they had a stick that they would poke through this little hole, as you guys can see, to poke the basketball back up through the hoop. I have no idea why they didn't think about cutting the bottom so the ball would just go right through but I mean they were old people with that being said though I am gonna take a shot on this hoop to test it out but I have to admit it did cost me a lot of money to get that hoop I don't really want to ruin it uh, so I'm, I'm gonna be careful I'm gonna try to copy like an old-time player's form like this guy I'll try that oh I don't know what they do about that hurry hey anyway that hoop is pretty epic, but I think we're going to head to the future a little bit to 10 years later in the year 1901. See you guys then. Ugh. Okay, we've now made it to 1910. In 1910, they originally introduced a new type of basketball net, which as you can see was like, you know, a, a fishing net. Around this time, they were actually also testing out like bigger rim sizes so people can make more baskets. That's why as you can see, this rim is like pretty wide. As you can see though, this basketball hoop doesn't have a backboard, but back in 1910, they actually did have backboards for these hoops. As you can see, it looked a little something like that. It was like a weird like chicken fence thing is what they called it. In case we're wondering, they didn't actually use that type of backboard for like bank shots and stuff like that. They only used it at the time to protect like the fans from getting hit with the basketballs when people miss the hoops. It's some pretty cool stuff when you, you know, you, you think about it. With that being said though, to fit the theme of the 1910s, I have a basketball from around that era. First shot on the 1910 basketball hoop. Around this time, people were probably still shooting the same with like the, the 1891 time. So the little, little hook shot. I think that was a, a, an old time move. <laughs> Swished it. Also at this time they didn't have like chopped off nets, so they would still use the stick strategy, like I said. Imagine every time after you make a basket, someone would have to run on the court and like poke the ball up out of the rim just so you can start play again. Kinda silly. Anyway. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, to be honest, I actually like this basketball hoop way more than the other one. I really like that they added like a net. But I think it is now time for us to head a little bit farther into the future, you know what I'm saying? So right now we're in year 1901. Oh, we're taking a big 20 year leap into the year 1921. I'll see you guys in 20 years. Ah. We've made it 20 years later to this basketball hoop, which I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, for what? if that, yeah. The basketball hoop's over 100 years old. Why is it so clean, you know what I mean? It's probably what you're wondering. And the reason it's so clean is because I actually cleaned it in a video before this, big, uh, this video. In that video, I actually said the hoop was 50 years old, but I actually didn't know that it was, it's 100 years old. Here's proof that the hoop is actually 100 years old. On the back of the hoop, 1923. Hello, so I'm editing the video right now and I realized that it doesn't say 1923, it says 9023. I don't know why in the world I thought that said 1923. Maybe I'm just stupid or something. I don't know. Yeah, my bad. Um, yeah. It's actually not 1921, it's actually 1923. There we go. Which means this basketball hoop that you're looking at is exactly 100 years old, like on the dot. Wild. Here's what it looked like before it was all cleaned and stuff like that. Just so you can get an idea of how like old looking it was. About a hundred years ago was when they started making actual like orange nice rims, you know what I mean? This one though, as you can see, is insanely rotted and like moldy because of how old it is. I'm sure when they first made the soup, it was nice and clean, nice bright orange. Look at how old that is. Holy guacamole. It's older than everyone watching this video. But guys, the backboard, actually very solid. With that being said, I tried hanging this on a wall, but I physically couldn't do it because of like, well, I probably could if I tried harder, <laughs> but I think, I mean this, it, I'm just making excuses. I didn't want to hang it on the wall. 1920s, I believe this is around like Wilt Chamberlain, or not Wilt Chamberlain, uh, the Bill Russell days. Forget what I was saying. Bill Russell actually played in like the, the, the 60s. So like the top players back in the 1920s were Howard Can, Chuck Carney, Irvin Cook, that's a cool name, Forrest D. Bernardo. Those are like the LeBron Jameses and Steph Curry's of that time. Pretty crazy. With it being said though, in honor of that guy that I just named, we're draining the 
a backward chop board. That was a switch. Okay, so far we have made it from the year 1891 all the way to 1920. That is about, or no, sorry, 1923. 33 years of basketball hoops that we've checked out so far. Pretty crazy how far they've come so far, you know what I mean? They started off using these things and made it to this all in the first 30 years. Pretty impressive. But now, it's time to go 25 years into the future, all the way up to 1945. Let's do a little somersault into that year. See you in another 25 years. Okay, we've now made it to the year 1945. It's been quite a long time. As you can see, I even grew a little beard. In the year 1945, they really started to make a big leap in basketball hoops. But before I tell you what it is, sounds like halftime. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to halftime. Basically, the halftime game we will be playing in this video is hide and go seek. You're probably wondering how me and you are supposed to play that since you're watching through a phone or a computer or something. But here's how we're gonna do it. Basically, as you can see behind me, there's a big field of grass and like jungle and right now i'm going to cover the screen and go hide somewhere within like the angle that the camera can see and i'm going to give you guys exactly 10 seconds to find me if you find me before the 10 second timer is up comment down below the words i found you or anything like that and i'm actually going to be subscribing to every single person who comments that they found me if you don't find me though don't lie and comment anyway because you know i'll know trust me i'll know if you don't find me though you have to like the video. That's a deal. If you find me, I'll subscribe to you. If you don't find me, you gotta like the video. We'll shake on it. Can't back down now. There we go. I'm gonna give you guys three seconds to count. I'm gonna go hide. Let me know. I took off my shirt for some reason to put it over there just in case you like thought that was me. Tricked you a little bit. Anyway, if you found me, good job. If you didn't, better luck next time, kid. And that is the end of halftime. Very fun stuff. I'll do that in more videos if you guys want. With that being said though, in the year 1945, they created the first ever glass backboard basketball hoop. As you can see, it looks a little something like that. Fortunately, I was not able to find one of these exact basketball hoops to bring in for this video, you know what I mean? As you can see, this is like probably like the most iconic basketball hoop there is. The original glass backboard. And yeah, it was just a glass backboard basketball hoop. Not much else to say about it. But with that being said, the next hoop we are checking out is a very exciting key moment in, you know, basketball history. Because we are now heading 35 years later to 1970. And that is the year that they created the first ever portable basketball hoop. This is one of the first ever portable type of basketball hoops. And by portable, I mean like portable. Like it moves around, as you can see, like it's not attached to any wall or something like that. Around this time is where it really became popular for people to have like basketball hoops in their backyards and stuff like that. Which as you guys know, nowadays, pretty much everyone who plays basketball has a basketball hoop at their house. Very revolutionary moment. I thought it would say like the year it was made somewhere. My hand was stuck. It doesn't though, unfortunately. But yeah, guys, in the year 1970, this was around the time, like, Kareem was really, like, playing, you know what I mean? And, like, Wilt Chamberlain, I'm pretty sure, and them, those type of players, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, they were around the 1970s. Let me actually confirm that. I need some water. I'm insanely thirsty. Oh. I'm insanely thirsty. Anyway, guys, I got my water, and we're back checking out the hoop. With that being said, guys, I've already checked out this hoop, like, 50 times in other videos. There's really not much else to say about this hoop, except to actually watch this. Nah, you can hang on it. It doesn't look like a hoop that you can hang on, but actually, for some reason, you can. It's pretty epic. With that being said, since it's around Kareem's time, let's do a little Skyhook action. With that being said, it is time to go another 20 years into the future to the year 1990. Do a little snap to get into it. As you can see, the camera angle didn't even change because the 1990 hoop is right there. I've actually probably like reviewed this basketball hoop over a hundred times in past videos. This is literally the hoop that I like do all my basketball stuff on. In the year 1990s, which is the year that we're talking about, that is when they made the first ever like adjustable basketball hoops, like, like this for example. As you can see right now, it's at 10 feet. 
and now it's down to seven and a half. We're getting close to like the current day, you know what I mean? 2023, 2024, around that time. Anyway, guys, from the 1990s all the way to the current time, there wasn't much that changed about basketball hoops, but this whole time we've been traveling back into the past, you know what I mean? We started all the way back at 1891, all the way up to 1991. And it is now time to head into the future to check out this final basketball hoop. I'll see you guys in 2024. And we have now made it into 2024. Wow, my head hurts really bad from that back I want to take a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, in this year, 2024, when basketball hoops are honestly probably going to change forever. Because in 2024, a company called Hoop, H-U-U-P-E, is releasing the first ever smart basketball hoop. I've talked about this in a past video, but I didn't really get like too in-depth in it, you know what I mean? But basically, it is a basketball hoop with a TV as the backboard. You can like count your shots on it, you can count like how many you make and missed. You can watch YouTube on it, you can literally watch Oliver Cole videos on it, which is me. You can watch NBA games, you can watch literally anything. It is literally the most expensive basketball hoop in the world. It is going to be $9,995. It is literally a $10,000 basketball hoop, which unfortunately, as you probably can tell, I don't have this at my house, unfortunately. But like I mentioned in a past video, I DM'd this company on Instagram, and they actually told me in March 2024, they're making like a bunch of new samples of the hoop, and I'm pretty positive that they're gonna end up sending me one of their hoops to review and like show off in my videos and stuff like that. That would be absolutely insane. Yeah, sometime later in 2024, I'm gonna have that hoop in my hands, and I'm gonna be making some epic videos on that, so if you're not already subscribed, make sure to just I cannot speak today. Jeez. Make sure, su su make sure to subscribe. That's a tongue twister. With that being said, though, subscribe, and I'm gonna go eat some food. Bye.